Hi. Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Well, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Murphy. And you're probably wondering what she's doing with a big old knife, but to do the recipe today, uh, she has to go get the ingredients, I guess. And for that, she has to climb up this rickety old ladder. Yes. She's not much of a ladder person, so. Lucky you're small. <laughs> Keep going. Gotta go two more steps. Two more? Yeah. Well, that fancy extension I put on the ladder there, huh? That's nice. You should have seen that bending when I went up on the inside the house <laughs> to change the light bulbs. Holy cow. Yeah. And then she's gotta get she's gonna get this uh, banana heart here. <laughs> Big giant rat jumped down. Rat? Did you see that? No. There's a bit rat living in that banana there. All right, come on back down. Take it slow. So it's not quite like going to the grocery store here, is it? No. Yeah. Right, she's gonna do something here. Just preparation, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Banana that is good. Those are good bananas there? Yeah. Cool. A lot of the bananas here have a disease. Mm. You can eat those little things that you're eating? I eat, I, we can eat this one. It's like the flowers, huh? Mm. But I, need, I like that. The center's harder or what? Okay. And then you kind of chop it up and cook it, huh? Mm. All right. Oh. 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 Right here, I can eat now because it's... Oh, because oh, they're hidden? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, then we're back. We're in the kitchen. I, I have a new. What happened to your new cut? Your new cutting board right over here. I think it's you, the new one. I was going to suggest you uh, pass that old one on to uh, Pastor Tim or your mom. Oh, the old one. That one right there, the cutting board. Who needs a cutting board? Pastor Tim does for doing pig stuff, but I bet your mom would like that, wouldn't she? We have a cutting board already. Then Pastor Tim doesn't have one, I know that. He was using a plastic lid to cut on yesterday. You the only thing? I'm gonna buy him a shovel for Christmas too. Oh. Uh, shovel. Nice. I will wash it first, Dad. Mm-hmm. Well, we knew there had to be a delay somewhere here. What, Dad? We knew there had to be a delay somewhere here. <laughs> oh. Or we wouldn't be Filipinos, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's an old Three Stooges show called A Plumbing We Will Go. Oh. And they get down in the basement with the tools mm -hmm. and Curly says, oh, we forgot, we forgot the wrench. And Mo goes, if we didn't forget something, we wouldn't be plumbers. <laughs> That's a joke? No, it was a joke to me, because, yeah. <laughs> but if you have to ask it's a joke, uh, probably not. We're back. We're in the kitchen. And look at this, Marvie has stuff almost prepared. <laughs> now today, we have some special things here. We have a cutting board and a knife that was sent from Bruce. From Bruce. Yes. He also sent a smaller cutting board too with that, yes. right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know where it's at. <laughs> and uh, we have a Pe ceramic peeler. That came with the set of uh, knives I, I bought from Lazada. That's kind of neat. And then we also have the cleaver cutter that Alex sent, which is like a cleaver scissors type thing. <laughs> we tried that today. It really worked cool. Yeah. And thanks for that also, Alex. We really appreciate that. 
But I think we'll use all that different stuff today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty modern. This, this is sure fancier than a bolo, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you have the other ceramic knife that I gave you too, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't break that yet? Not yet. All right. Let's let's <laughs> check out the yet. let's check out the not yet. That's not very positive. <laughs> let's check out the ceramic peeler. This is the, what do you call this, Dad? Peeler. No, this one in English. No idea. We call it shikua. Never saw it before in my life. Does yeah. it work good? Yes. I gave some to the store owner down below, Vivian. She said, "Oh, I love those. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of those other ones?" I'm like what? It took her like ten minutes to say okra. Ah, uh, you have okra, Dad? I wouldn't. No, she wants to know how much we have. Ah. Uh. I wouldn't tell her what it was. Yeah, I'd make her get the word out herself, you know. Mm. That's pretty neat. It's easy, yeah. to Does that feel better than the old metal one? Mm. Okay, that's Sorry. pretty cool. Seems sharper, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just throw away the skins? Put right there. You don't use them for anything? No, okay. All the stuff like the skins and everything from now on and the ends of the okras and stuff, I want you to put them in a pile and then we'll chop those up and we'll feed those to throw them out for the turkeys because they like, they like to eat vegetables and things. Okay. Now you're now using the, the cleaver cutter. Pretty cool. And using it as a knife also, see? Oh. Pretty neat. Look at that. It really works nice though, doesn't it? Yeah. You got that and you got a fancy push button blower for the burner. And yes. I... Yeah. Pretty high tech. <laughs> There's an improvement. Yeah, we're gonna try to invest. One of these days, we're gonna try to invest in a in a stove for you. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna go propane or electric burners yet. I haven't decided yet, but uh, the electric would be nice because you don't have to keep filling the tank up. Yeah. But the propane would be nice for when. There's like a typhoon or something. There's no power, so mm. it has its trade-offs. But uh, Ricky said it was 20, 2,800 pesos for the to buy the tank, and 800 pesos to fill it up, and then about 6,000 pesos for the two-burner gas stove. So just a like a tabletop burner. Right. So you're talking 10,000 pesos to get started. It's ridiculous. We should have bought one when I first got here. They were a quarter the price. You you told me that what do I let you pick what you wanted to use. Oh, you wanted firewood. <laughs> uh, we would yes, had we could have had gas from day one if you wanted it. Because you said uh, what do you get? do you like to use a a shed. <laughs> do, you, do you remember? Do you remember the day? Remember the day we were in Cebu at that Tina lady's house? Yeah. And you cooked a, a batch of rice on. Was it a gas stove or a electric stove? I can't remember. Gas. A gas stove. Your first try, I think. And uh, oh. you made rice bricks that day, I think. That rice it, is pink. Pink rice, but yeah, but you didn't. You weren't aware about controlling the heat and stuff like you do on your fire. It put less water. In and it burned, burned into right. bricks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we could have built a house with that rice. <laughs> Why? Because it was hard. Hard, oh yeah. hard as a rock. Hard as a brick. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a picture of your face, not the, <laughs> not the food you're doing. Not what I'm doing here. Sorry about that, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here talking to her. Why don't you try that big knife once? I'll see how that works. Okay. I like this the smell of this one. Well, baby, works good too, huh? Yes. That knife there, you got to learn to keep it flat to the to the cutting board. Yeah. That's why the the kitchen knives are. That's, that's kind of a cleaver knife, but it's not heavy like a cleaver. So mm. I think it's more like a cross between a uh, a chef's knife and a cleaver. Oh, chef knife. Chef knife is this shape. Uh, that's, that's a chef's knife, yeah. Uh, this one here is an actual piece of crap, but uh, you know, a good a good chef knife costs about two hundred dollars just for a knife. Oh, uh, wait, it's expensive. Good steel, uh, special steel. Uh, Stays sharp, very. Uh, the sharper it is, the better it cuts, and the uh -huh. safer it is. Oh. Easier it is to cook with. They got other knives that are like sushi knives that are made for cutting fish very thin. Some of those go six, seven thousand dollars for a knife. Cool. 
but they're That's for expert dirty. chefs. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice pile of stuff there. Mm. What do you call that stuff again? Sequa. Sequa, okay. What do you call it? Uh, I don't call it anything. I never heard of it before. I think people know that. Probably do. That's why it's nice to take a picture of it oh. or a close-up video of it so people know what you're talking about. Everyone, that, most of the people, are, okay, most of the people that are watching here, Murphy, that are watching your cooking shows, are. Filipinos that are married to foreigners, uh, or they're foreigners that are married to Filipinos. Okay. And uh, so I'd say 90% of them are. And this one, I will chop this. And, and that's the that's it. the banana heart. Oh. What are you gonna do with that one? I will go like. Okay. Like that. Okay. I will go right here because this one is. Oh, it leaks. Oh. Um, it's got a stain. bananas have a good stain to them. Yes. You take your cutting board over too or not? No, I will go like that first. That's how my mom teach me my mother. Okay. It's like kind of julienne in it. What's kind of julienne. Oh. It makes real thin cuts. Oh. I, c I could be wrong. That way then when you go across it, it turns into little small pieces, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait a minute. Yeah, bananas, when you're working with banana stalks and stuff, you can't really see what you're doing, but you, you get a real nasty black stain from them. Yes. You can take the blade of like a bolo, sand it all down, and then jam it into a banana tree mm -hmm. and let it sit overnight. And when you come back in the morning, the, the, the metal will all have a nice black patina on it, and it, it actually will protect the, the steel from rust. Mm -hmm. I remember when I did that before with my other yes, knife? I, 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 I did that for a reason, not just mm -hmm. for the fun of it. I thought you were playing that. I just, thought I was just crazy playing with knives and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. But you know how I am with, you know am you with knives and bananas. You did not say nothing at yeah. once. If you don't understand something, you should always ask questions. And just observe. Yeah, you should always ask questions. That's a pretty weird technique. <laughs> cooking a lot that, this that, when I was a kid. Is that pretty standard? Oh no, that's how. Well, this is a kind. This is another food. This is a, this is a peasant food. This is a food that the, the poor people eat. Oh. Because you're you're out here in the out here in the edge of the jungle and and uh, I'm sure your your mom and dad with all those kids yes. had a hard time finding anything for you to eat. Oh. So something like the heart of a banana. Mm. You know, that's why you go, like, to your dad's house, he's got 200 banana trees out there, just so he can always have a heart banana whenever he wants, and mm. and uh, he'd probably rather have a nice big old fish or something, but he, but he knows that there's lots of stuff out there he can eat when he needs to. Mm. When I was, when we were young, that um, Papa was going to the, ba cutting bamboo down by the, what you call that, swamp? Mm, down the swamp, swamp, okay. Oh, yes. And we don't have a vayan, and I'm just looking for something that when Papa, Papa arrive for lunch, have something to eat. So I'm looking for some uh, banana heart or anything. So I cook this one together with coconut milk. Mm. Mm. And you like ban the big old banana shoots too, or not banana, but the bamboo shoots? Oh, but next time I'll cook that. See if we can find a banana, sh oh. a bamboo shoot. I keep saying banana. I don't know. <laughs> no. Must be crazy. All right, we're looking at we're looking at, we're looking at bananas right now. I guess oh. huh? <laughs> that could be. Hear that? Or I'm just uh, there's something wrong with me. Um, could be though. And then after this, we put salt. Put what? Put salt. Salt. Mm. Okay. You chop that up more, or just like that? Enough. Okay. Just like this. I, I think I need a bigger container for this one. You got a big pot over there. Mm. Uh oh. So those are finally finally coming in handy, huh? <laughs> I bought a big set of pots for. I, I, I wanted two of them out of there to, to cut holes into to make the uh, hobo stoves. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I wanted one. They had. I wanted a set with metal lids, but all I could find was glass lids. So uh, I settled for these, but they're nice for marfi for cooking. Yes. 
put this in with the water. A little bit of water, okay. Quite a bit of salt, huh? Mm -hmm. More than a pinch, more like a small fist of it, huh? I'll go in here then. Well, you sure move around a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get on this side of here because I, I can shoot back into the kitchen because the light's different. Now the kitchen's quite a bit darker than it was. Yes. But actually with this camera here, it doesn't matter. This camera actually doesn't like the bright light. It does a nice job in the darker. Turn the light. There's a taste on it that it, I did not go like this. Oh, you got to squish it? Mm-hmm. Give it the little scrunch, huh? Mm -hmm. And what does that do? That kind of grinds the salt in it? And, mm, and removes the strong The strong taste. taste. Huh? Okay. That's a good tip. The English of There's that. no English of it. Strong taste pretty much says it all. It's just like bitter. Bitter. It, feel, feel free to throw a few Filipino words in there, hon, because I guess... In Visaya, I remember the apod. There you go. And then everybody will know that, see? Oh. Uh, yeah. I think about three-fourths of the people though, are from up north, mm. Tagalog. But, uh, that, you know, there's a lot of the viewers are from the Visayans, too. Mm. Okay. I've got this right here. I'm still looking at I'm looking at you again. I know. I'm not watching watch what you're doing. What are you doing? You're just kind of squeezing it all out here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention here, guys. I'm sitting here talking. That's what you get left over. You can drink that too, or what? I know. No? Huh? Oh, yeah. Looks like gravy. I know. I know. That's the bitter, huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, a food. I don't know the English. A food, huh? Oh. The okay. I will yeah. wash it. Bitter's a good word. Can you give it a rinse? What's bitter is the ampalaya. Ampalaya is bitter? Oh. This is just strong? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get up in the boom up here. Boom up here. Boom shot. Mm. Actually, the boom shot is kind of a boom shot. <laughs> Sorry. I'm looking for a coconut that old coconut. Old one? Or the brown one, but they can't find it. Yeah, I'll look so around. I'm sure there's one here. No more just the tree have no up in the tree you need a brown one? No more brown. And well your brother was just here, you should have had him go find one for us. You gave him all those bags. Least he could have done was give us a coconut. I have a replace some instead of coconut. Oh, sub milk. Sub sub substitute ingredients, <laughs> huh? Instead of coconut juice? Uh, looking at using What are you gonna use instead? Um, Milk. Just regular milk? Okay. Mm. Evaporated it, milk. Well, that's different. That's not regular milk. Oh, what's the regular milk? Regular milk would be the kind we drink. Oh. Uh, so evaporated milk uh, instead. Okay, well, that should make it nice and rich. Okay. Mm. Same with that. Back over here again. Huh? Lots of. Got like eight dogs under my feet here. Oh, no. Trying to walk over without tripping on them. Start a fire, Dad. This is a long video. That okay, we'll be back when she gets a fire going outside. Started the fire, but it didn't look like it's doing much. And you went out to get some lemongrass and some mm -hmm. long beans and a pepper, okay? Yes. Tie up your lemongrass. Mm -hmm. I have sardines. And sardines, too, okay? Milk. And evaporated milk. Uh, I like okay. Alaska brand milk. What do you want to bet it's not from Alaska? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're promoting that. <laughs> and back to your fire again. Let's see this technique. A little cardboard. Mm. And look, look guys, not a bit of tender in there at all. There's a bunch of chunks of bamboo. See, I have that all. I have that all sliced up into into tender, and and uh, it take me a week to get it going. 
to watch this shit. Look at this. Look at what's going on. It's on already. Because I did not. Murphy's got the. I Murphy's got the touch for fire. What you call that? I, I have like no idea. Move a lot. I need the fire set there and burn. That, that's your secret, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't say. Like this. Uh huh. Mm. They also notice her fires are very airy. Always has mm. big space between the pieces of wood. Where I I put them in a little thicker than that, but that's the secret. I have a heck of a time. Mm. And you got to remember, oh. you got to remember Spice. everything here. That's <laughs> it's burning already, and that it just cracks me up. Mm. And everything here is always damp too, so it's just uh, amazing how they can get fires going. Mm. But again, you've been making fires since when? You're five years old. Something like that. Five years old and burning down. Burn down fire piles when you're when you're ten, huh? <laughs> uh. Why don't you use your new knife? Put it inside the house. Why? I like that. I don't want to. Well, you can't if you don't use it. It's not doing you much good. Mm. And. Put little bit oil. Oh, on your pan? Mm. Okay. okay. Everybody's seen oil. I'm not going to go over there. Mm. A couple tablespoons of oil. That's usually her method. Yes. No garlic today? No. Just onions, huh? Onions. You can put tomatoes to the yeah, I tried to buy tomatoes, but the, the, the guy had his stuff at his, on his table was all rotten. The uh, tomatoes were rotten. Most of the peppers were actually leaking juice. They were rotten. Uh, and he had potatoes there. He had, he had carrots that were black. And I've never seen anything like it. Big, big black globs on them. And that's not good. I mean, you would think you'd have their, think they'd have their table looking nice all the time, but th this guy wasn't. But, but in fact... Got their sardines. I, I, that, I get this one. Well, that goes in first. Mm. I guess I come over for that one. You got some onions sautéing in there. Okay. Mm. <laughs> that fire is cranking. It's amazing. And hardly even any smoke at all. How come no charcoal? It takes a while. Two degrees. You need a little hotter flame. Okay. Oh. Doing the video. Yeah, this is, this is regular style too, and you didn't have you didn't have charcoal back in the old days, did you? No. Just sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks, kinda looks like dirty cabbage. Part of bananas, what? It's full of vitamins. Full of vitamins. Okay, good. I think pretty much all the food you're eating is full of vitamins. <laughs> pretty much 99% of it is. And cover it. Cover it kind of steaming up a little, huh? Mm. Okay. What's next over here? Next is the... How about the lemongrass? When's that going? I, when... Later? Oh. When there's a... Can I do some beans now? Beans and cut the beans. Okay. Multi at a time, huh? <laughs> no, I know, I got you. Long beans, yeah. String beans? No, those are long beans. String beans are totally different. Oh. String beans have a string have a string through them. Oh. You have to when you break them open, you have to pull the string out of them before uh -huh. you eat them. Uh -huh. It's an older style bean. Is that this? This is this. No, so call, I think you guys call, you call them long beans here. Long beans back home. Now look at that. Five beans at a time. <laughs> That'll speed up the kitchen work, huh? Yeah. That, that cleaver thing it sure is nice. Cleaver cutter. Never seen anything like that, Alex, but it's really cool. Me too. And, and it's easy to squeeze too, right? Yes. Good for your bad wrist. Mm. Mm. Look at that. I'm surprised you're not cutting at a slight angle. Oh, I... It's all right. Keep going. Keep me uniform. Very nice. Yes. High tech. <laughs> really like it. Oh, really? I think it's neat. 
If we ever go to America, we'll take that with us. <laughs> it's not. It's accepted. Ma'am. Yeah. In the in America, we can bring things over there. Why wouldn't we bring our things with us? What's this one? Squash. Squash. Actually, cooked the longest, right? Squash. The one we picked out of the garden. Oh, good. That was a nice one. It's small, but it looks good, though. Yes. Real solid. Yeah, that's the second or the third one we got out of the garden, now, isn't it? Yeah. So the garden is producing, even though how little it is. <laughs> Lots of okra, a few egg eggplants, uh -huh. squash. Put a little bit of water. One cup. About a cup, huh? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, I think that all your food is all nice and colorful looking. <laughs> That's very important. You don't you don't realize you don't realize that, but that's very important in uh -huh. in most most of the societies. Mm -hmm. Colorful food. I I put the what you I like to use a what you call it that for the for the vegetable. What are you gonna do? Um, dried fish, but we don't have dried fish. Dried fish. We're gonna use sardines. Yes. Okay. <laughs> to spin it, huh? The other, the old one is working. The military one's one you should have. Uh, before I'm using knife. Yeah, I'm going to use knife before too. Uh, and uh, uh, which cutter? What, which cutter did I get? That was a side cutter. It's this one here, isn't it? That cuts from the side too. That's what you should be cutting, right? That one. That's the one. Oh. Uh, doesn't cut anymore? That's why it's broken. It's broken because you're doing cans again, huh? Look at that, another knife she broke. Now that's a Chicago cutlery knife. How could you possibly break a Chicago cutlery knife? Right? I've had that I've had that knife I've had that knife since nineteen seventy six. I bought it at the bicentennial. A little water in there to get the rest of the juice out, okay? Yeah. Now, do you chop the sardines up or just, just, like, that. just like that? Just like that, kind of bury them in there. Mm. Okay. Looking better already. Mm. And last is the milk. Okay. Mm. That, that, does that have to go for a little while first? Mm. Okay, next we have some. Lemongrass and ginger. I'm out of sibuya. I'm out of what? What you call that? Sibuya onion, that the long one. Oh, the the spring onions. Oh, spring. You told me I could have got some of those easy today. Uh, I was just at the vegetable market. Never thought of that. I saw them. They they weren't very good looking ones, but. Now I have lots of that. Yeah. Um, we should have traded some onions for the squash you gave. Mm. The squash is not breathing. I don't know. It takes at least 10 minutes for the squash to soften. Mm. Be my okay. guess. Yeah. And then we opened up the evaporated milk. Mm. Ah, that's ginger strong. You can you use half a can for the... Okay. Mm. When you put that in, after the vegetables or before? Yeah. After everything, okay. All right, we'll be back What's next. Again? Vegetables. Oh yeah, look at that souping up there, huh? Yeah. And that'll steam the beans real nice for you. And the eggplant. Mm. What about that other stuff? Wait for this Later, huh? soft. It's softer, okay.
And you can see now, you can just by looking at it, you can see the squash is getting softer. Uh, change the color. Yep, color changes, that's right. A little bit more salt. The Two pinches. The banana is half already put salt already. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But you also rinsed it too. Mm. And put pepper. A little pepper. <laughs> in the pepper. Watch out, you don't put too much in there. Yeah. Black pepper. Black, yeah. That's something that most Filipinos don't use. I but you used it since you met me, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, I bet it does. Oh. You didn't buy pepper before. Well, I don't think I don't think 12 years ago you could have bought pepper here and behold, if you wanted to, there wasn't any place that sold it. <laughs> but now we've got some nice grocery stores in the city, yeah. real nice ones, all owned by the same place, but they're they're pretty nice. Yeah. All right. All right, now what's next? I put the sequa. Sequa. And some green peppers and some okra. Anything? Okra next, huh? Uh, Everything gets its own little stage, huh? Mm. <laughs> Well, that's quite the vegetable mess there, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, that. Vegetarians are like this. Mm. Now I'll get I'll get a hundred comments. Uh, oh, I I remember having that when I was a kid. It's so good. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm back home. Oh. I get comment after comment like that. Mm. Yeah. My mom used to make that. I made that when I was a kid. Maybe you can put this one. Cover. Steamer back up. Smells good. Can't smell anything. Can smell heat. Like the wind blows this way. Mm, the wind blows this way, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you say so. I'm looking at the flames. There's not much wind in here, but there could be. But I can. You think so? Now you're going to put in a little. Uh, I will try first. A little sip, okay. You found there, me that. There, I'm smelling the ginger a little bit. Mmm, come on. Good. Very good. Okay, and now next comes a uh, half half a can of evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. She used the other half of the evaporated milk what? to make a drink with evaporated milk, water, kamungai leaves, and a pinch of sugar. Mm. Yeah, not my style dinner, hun. I'd like a nice, lean <laughs> hamburger plain. Oh, man, would that be so good. I nice Wisconsin uh -huh. dairy cow beef. Oh, that'd be so good. I like that, too. But sometimes... No, you, can't you can't even imagine how good that is. I really like this. can eat this every day. All right. No problem. Three Wendy's doubles and oh, three big fries plus ice water. That sounds good, too. Mm. Finished that. It's all done, huh? Mm. Okay. Turn the turn the burner down by pulling the wood out. Mm. And put the extra. Put it down below. Okay. Take her off the fire. Mm. Pretty heavy one there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to dump that in the ground? It's heavier than it looks. Yeah. I'll get the. What 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 da are you getting this the time? Da. Ball. Ball this time, oh, okay. That kind of looks soupish. Mm. It's creamy. What do you call that? Creamy. Creamy, yeah. Uh -huh. Looks very creamy. Let me get that. Mm. 
Yeah, very nice. Alright, Well, as part of cooking with Marfi, there's always the <laughs> taste. Yeah. And there's your little shake. Uh, I mean, I'm mix, mix her up a little bit. Had a little froth on the top of it, huh? Nice. Oh, it looks very healthy, huh? There you go, piece of vegetable in there, that's better. You good? Yes, that's very good. Very good. I can talk. <laughs> it's so good you can't talk, huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, you enjoy yourself. Have your lunch. Make sure you save a little bit for Shannon. Yeah. Shannon's home sick today with a real bad cough and a fever. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't know quite what to do about that. And a drink of your shake there. Mm. Maybe I, I'm going to call it a shake, but smoothie. Evaporate, evaporated milk tastes good? Mm. Different or good? Tastes different, but still good. Still good, though, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's all we have for today. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch Cooking with Murphy. And you can contact us at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com or Murphy at foursquarelover at gmail.com. Have you been getting many emails? Some. A few, okay. A few. Right. I forgot to put the name that. Oh, what's the name of this dinner? <laughs> banana heart. <laughs> I, I don't. That's it? Just sure. banana heart? I made sure that. Banana heart and vegetables, we'll call it that, okay? Oh, okay. Alright. Well, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.